hello welcome to this week's video um well after the blustery time on the coast down at watch it a few days ago um i thought i'd come back into the woodland today um obviously the leaves have now blown off most of these trees there's still a few clinging on for dear life trying to get the best out of their their time on the tree um but the majority of the leaves have come off now uh so i've come up to a local woodland of mine uh king's cliff it's called um on the back road coming out of bridgewater out towards north petherton and just come out for a stroll around the woods to see what the sort of winter wood winter woodland is gonna look like um just going for a stroll got the camera got the tripod just see what we see I do love this time of year, the autumn, winter, and obviously through to the spring. Nice and fresh. You can put plenty of layers on to battle against the elements. If it's cold, cold and dry, then it's great. Um, and obviously the weather conditions, they just suit photography during this time of the year. Um, today, a bit overcast getting the odd brakes of light coming through, um, which might give me some odd pocket opportunities in a minute, hopefully. Um, but just looking for sort of odd splashes of color that's still still there from the reminiscing, from the uh, from the end of the, the autumn after the storm from last weekend. So, yep, yeah, yeah, let's uh, keep walking, see what we can see. Okay, just setting up this shot and then it's um, come over quite cloudy and just had a bit of a storm of rain uh, but it is blowing through quite fast expecting the expecting the light to pick up again soon um, so let me just talk you through um, what I've got is this this tree here in amongst all of these uh, fir trees um, it's just Given a bit of colour in in a in a, other than that pretty dull scene. Um, so what I'm doing because at the top we've got all this bright sky and down below we've got very little at all below either. Um, so what I've done is set the camera in portrait mode and what I'm going to do is take a six or seven shot sequence pano um, and then I can stitch them together in Photoshop and see if we can make a, a, a narrow narrow letterbox image just picking up on the central part of that scene so I'll take the shot I'll just talk you through with them as, as I'm doing it okay so what I've done is leveled the tripod uh, got the camera level using the level meter in the camera um, and then I'm basically gonna focus into the scene so we'll zoom in get a focus shot just check the exposure uh, looks a little bit bright to me so I'm just gonna increase the shutter speed slightly take the exposure down um so there i'm now shooting at iso 100 f11 two fifths of a second so with those settings locked in okay so with that set in i'm gonna now lock the focus and then And now with that focus locked, I'm going to take a shot there, 
Turn the camera about 10 degrees. Take another shot. Again, turn a few degrees. Keep just rotating the camera slightly, making sure you're overlapping the images. And then I'm finishing looking straight down through this path. So hopefully when they're blended together, it will uh, come through and then you'll have the pathway going off in the distance. So may work, may not. Give it a try. If it works and I like it, here it is. Right, so one good thing of the leaves all not being up there on the tops of those trees means they're all down here on the floor creating some nice colours. So just grabbing this shot now. We've got the pathway going on up through and uh, there's a bit of an old branch here that I'm just using as a bit of foreground just to break up this because this this area here is quite uh, quite sparse so just got a branch there that's just breaking up the foreground slightly and then in the background um, when the light breaks through uh, just to bring you up a little bit when the light breaks through it's just it's just breaking on the sides of these these birch trees silver beech trees whatever they are and um, giving some giving some nice nice sort of light and shade and nice colors so yeah so just waiting for the sun to break back through again um, got the composition set up and then grab a couple shots So, just shouting under a tree. Just thought I'd share a little bit of a fashion accessory with you. Now, once you've known this, you would all want some. It's something I did, somebody told me years ago, and I thought, oh no, I'm not gonna try that. But anyway, having trouble with your walking trousers, falling down, belt not holding you up. Get yourself a pair of braces. Can't beat them. Trousers now stay up. Trust me, give it a try. You won't look back. Another shot, however. I've just sort of moved up and down this pathway here, um, looking down into these trees. Um, I've got sort of, sort of a little bit of backlight, back sort of side light coming in from the left hand side um, looking down through these trees here um, so I've, I've moved around just to try and get a little bit of separation and to get a, a line of some sort down through which with this point here with these two trees either side I'm just zoomed in slightly and then using these trees here and that leads you down to there's a there's a light tree down the far end there, which is which is catching the light quite nicely. So just getting the exposure right for this light, and then uh, taking a few shots. I'm going to take a couple focusing because I'm quite close to these trees, so I'm just going to take a couple focusing on this sort of pane here 
to get a focus on there and then another focus back about there um, just so that I can use the two together if need be um, I do want the back right back here to be to be soft to be honest so um, I think I take the aperture down to sort of f8 um, and then I'm shooting at 1 30th of a second again why ISO 100 so yeah I take these shots using the uh, using those focus points that's what I was saying uh, just a quick one on focusing uh, something I have touched on in in the past in different videos um, but a good way to get your focus nice and sharp is to go on live view zoom into your focus point I don't know if you can see there on the back of the camera get your focus and then using the back button two second timer and then boom gives you nice sharp and see image there if I zoom in on that focus point there of the tree you can see it is absolutely pin sharp with a nice bit of softness there behind Okay, time's ran away with me a little bit, walking up around here. Um, got a little bit lost to start with. Came a long way round, I think, to get where I am now. Uh, so just following this pathway down round to uh, to then pick up the bottom trail down in the bottom of the valley, which should take me back towards the truck. Um, so only a few photos today, but just needed to get out and get some fresh air so hope you've enjoyed this video if you have please hit the like button be much appreciated and if you want to see more please subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell to keep up with the latest content and drop a drop a comment down below it's always great to get feedback so thanks again for watching till next time Take it easy.